live program for two hours. Na chocha aman. Magala Brian, we love you so much. Tumideko as the night and drive team. All na kolo akutano. Ah, to come here as a week. Mona ang'e, we week we take in the devil lunch to kugamba to guamani. Week. Choose a much again the volunteer monangi to gamanti who often a bad experience or ye often a much okuga. Then also look banti next week a tandika or in a lesson is the world with the wisem. No, you never again do poge or terezam at a overlam bogend mass or mwezi go one of them but natural book by all whom motor to yingire or mwezo gusemba mwaka gua twenty twenty. But nange new together mon new year. Na ye twenty twenty or because they moti. Ungajuanari ya katani katubela ne New Year Resolution ni njagala kola chino, njagala kola chino 2020 tabade mwangu Wewe na wena o wali otesi tesevi okola goals tozi reach inze We set o guwa mmanyi 2020 tabade mwangu So you can as well push your goals to 2021 Ate obedenti okola nyo okusovola okuza achivinga Ka bifonga sinagenda maso kate omami mkose Arnold Anthony omkisa abaguzeko Then tuwe utugene maso Yes, I will tell you, I am a child, a marooned, a friend, a a a a Faba toki de masogo, sio akubani fe abako ya ipsa nisa, sio akubani chovu oriao, fe abo abaguani ndi na yeye oro kwa galako, echi sacho, mukama usigala gwa mukama, abafunye birunji, tu gamba, yato yuza yuza, alhamdulillah bialamina, ira mukama yebari, na wewe, ngo. Ochisulu wasuze inachia maziga ngai inachia wansi tu gamba mukama ukusasire akugumie ida kusopoze se ukuita mumbere yuo na ye mumbere yuo na ya bulungi ya bovi ya sanyo ya naku kwe kuasa mukama katonda kuwa ya singa o kumanya ere ya singa o kutegira ah bala ya fe ulaleiro ngai mulumani buri mkomeri ya Friday mumwezi tuwa Tuba supposed to be a manamateka, Mlamuzi Ayawumula, Justice George Wilson Kanyahamba. Now, although a robe is over Tevere, a robe of Tevere, you're Saviant Yakuvera, Nay, wicked Ja, Aina Fe, Go Mutomala Yena, Avako, Name Somoza, Nepogams Nazchuka, Kuba Fe, Trika Tonda, what are single Kumania programs of Fez and Nazi Tivera and Zo. Na yeye yatu savye, na agama, Friday ya leto jia kubea na oso. Omuge nyi ya badu wa Friday, wa wiki jia, netumu savanti katibu, wa wakuno mineti ngao watabu kukoza program, nguwe ina kubea ya wiki jia, na yetu badu kusava. Jangu, lero, then, ye, umla mwizi, kanyihamba, ademo chifocho. Na yetu kalu viliza na agamba, uwe wawo, kasta ilana nge mbade kuprogram, kanzi jie. So, tumulinda kusa wa yona, anaba tuka kwa omuge nyi wa fe, omuchala, Mary Harriet la, uh, la Munu ngono ye ID of executive director of an uncle of which tongue of which of which parliament abachala a child Uganda women Europa another to rule it up bong up Europa chechi bevani bakulachi vata and kadi vata and kilawa Amani gawe gari wa rachi ba vayo yonat na watu bitegera paka tu mani aruga watu nuliira mbira zaba na bwana dola mu covid nineteen wabadeo ali pregnancies wabadeo sexual abuses watu lava na contribution ya ya yobu kula mbuzi baba chala mungu la kula na enc ya fe enc ya tu yuganda watu lavi baba chala at least bafu deo kumundo guna bata fa na ko emalaga kwa wali bafu deyo bako zebia mani. Ovo yana basa java singa wa mu garaso bala kola soto weba zawa mama abrati ridi de guanga diawe ni muni wao amoviringe ndege yenu na kuzunguje ah watu dako mumbera yebi ofuzi tu ba juu kizani na kuzigenda ndege faida na wa bolia sugaza ina kumeka o kutoa kuna kuri muri ndoa vayo orondi 
bobango wuli anti president mu seven okulembezewe bukoze bulungi okumusi okubusi gazawe na kulonda bobo boga anti president mu seven ntakulembede bulungi na bukulembezewe okumujjawo kulonda kalu to to gwataronze to banja to banje wotawola muole banja osoro kumubanja so tubagamba anti nakuzo mwezi nga 19 omwezi ogwa January buli muntu buli mulonzi bobango ina konge sindaga muntu naye akonge ko kulonda ngo wezi nya 18 ngo wandisanga omulonzi vayo olonde ndaga muntu olonda naye akonge ko byo kulonda ako kulonda ke kalonda aba president batalaga egwanga bitundu byenja ulo kabulet ali bitundu ebyebu ebyebu vanjoba tundu byabo gisu president msef na yali mitundu byebimwe byo bonna banonya kalu ya bonyoro ya badena president basatu ya badena bobby wine ya bade ne amuriat na nevera ne muntu bano bonna bagala ntebe enene na ye ebimu ku byatambude fdc ya launching campaign yayo e hoima mirange ensonga zibasinzo kunulira ko za administrative nga amuriat asubiza okendeza parliament oboli yao no kulaba anti amanyi no buyinza babuza mu bantu tete yako myao base java dama ze bank time kaluka no na ye kaonese ke guru yala bidwako era na ko myao ebugu mu ne momentum mu kaluka no mpozi ya ngabuli jo bobby wine yaganidwa okuba ko hotel yonna jeba kale cho chali lo chonna ne bana mawulire banaffe basuze wabwero nga dpc omuchala patience na mara ne oc byaruhanga abe mijira baganye hotel zonna okubasuza bano bolwale bayina kubera chankwanzi na ye dpc yabaganye nalagane hotel zonna zonna obutabakiriza kubako we basula fetulo wozanti banange ensite kungulwa nga sina fuka muna mawuli ndi muna Uganda nange nga muna Uganda chinko sala era mpuli wa obulumi okusuza omuntu aine dembe okusula ro kwebaka no musuza wabwero siku banti yalemeredwa ntaina bisobozi siku banti yalemeredwa ntaina sente na ye kubiragiro byo banange enegwa edinegwanga siria siria omuntu sachino wabiro basatu ya fefe na wabanga omuntu abukiza hotel ye kwa mbade ndaba bifana ye banama uli nga bebasa ku street nga pega la midde ne mpulya ne nnaku ne mpulya ne nnaku enyo enyo bana ya ofuzi na obantu nga banna Uganda ne banama uli na obantu nga banna Uganda na ye chibinyo chibinyo dala na ye omugenyi wafuka tugenda ko mu health break atononyo omugenyi wafe nga bwatuse tugende mu maso ayingiyo tandikirawo The world is at a critical moment of providing innovative alternatives as a means to create change. As such, we have created a not-for-profit alternative mobile digital platform as a way to promote space for freedom of speech and expression to the unheard voices. We know you believe in the cause and you can further urge more by contributing to its sustainability in forms of internet data, fuel, and any other support you deem relevant. Please support us with your contribution to Equity Bank account number 103-5201-607252 under the name Alternative Digital or our mobile money numbers 0702-900076 or 0783-047785 Alternative Digital Real issues, real talk. This is a time uh, where there is a lot of violence. For example, police brutality. A lot of you are being beaten up, the voters, and the people from the opposing side. So, election is just that period where we get free money. An election is a process through which people choose to vote a person or a group of people. 
to hold an office of leadership. Did you know that you have the power to determine on who leads you? Did you know that your vote has the power to change your society and the country at large? Dear citizens, please vote wisely. Don't vote money, but vote issues. Dear parents, I can't make any decision. Your choice determines my future. Fellow students, exercise your right. Go and vote. Abafumbira mwese, muzaze tujene tutera karuru. Abanya Uganda mwena, mujende mutera karuru. Basha nge fesi fesi hivole, uche hodole. Abantu inyana mujete tugende tukome. Genda orondi. Your vote. My vote. Our, our vote. Is our present and our future. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real Issues. Real Talk. program jo chala ba bajita the mighty drive wenjo gerera omugenyi wafe oluna ku yatu sedam studios era agenda kubanga abavuza ko mukadde akatalike wala farida bikovere is my name nero nkoze no omwami mukose anodi anthony we have a woman in the studios abana abawala mbakubiriza monange gwatana twega takogenda ku facebook page mo account yo search engine take am the alternative uganda like the page and follow us ogenda kubanga ate wo tufuna bulunji nyo bulirwendeta omugenyi omukazi mu studios ntera nyo kubiriza abana abawala mubereko nga muulira mubereko mufune echo kuyiga mubereko baba inspiringe mubereko mufune hope okuva mu bantu banata abavuddeyo ne balaga anti Echintu chona chisobo kanebu wabanga ate mukazi ya kute mstayaring wheel. Te wali nchoka chuka yona ebeira uolo kuba mukazi ya toba msajia. So abana abawala na dala gwe achari ewaka ocheva se. Weba kampaka sawa zino mbulili okola muchi zuku kabana nge mzuku ke mugende mkole fetu jabba kubiriza. Mugende mkole muve mkusabiriza sente. Tei sente nyuma nga ataka sente kewe kole de. Kovo sobolo kati tenkanya ato sobolo kawa lirila kubaka baka kukoye zokola. Teziri nga zino zeba kuwa dobu hui ezo zo tezi kuwa ya kulia. Kubawa watu manye ya zikoze ya, ya funye buzibu chinga zikola. Soba nanga abana abawala abawala banafe mugende mkole muve mkusabiriza sente muve mkwe baka the whole day nga gwewe base waka obe obyera okola wochi muve mukutunulira obufumbo nga ana achievement mbonze nafumbirwa era seta gakola muve mukutunulira obufumbo as an achievement bo muzadde bwa ya kuteka mu sente no soma from nasare elije tutandikira na kutusate ku campus banange sente zo muzadde muziwe chiti bwa mugende mukole omuzadde bwa ba kusomesa iriza an investment abasubira ate okujayo amagoba nga omaliriza okusoma ate bwo mu disappointing ota emixer ya abantu aba obo lya one banaiba abali bakula bango genda kusimira gambo ba mwala wagundi ya soma na yetta kola katinzo wange msomesa wachi lero discussion yagenda kwetolera ku mwana omwala era mujja kumdoza mwe kunya lwachi ate ntute direction ya bana abawala discussion ya fe area wo ku mwana omwala na dala abana abato abafunye mbuto mu lockdown abana school going kids ngabana bawala na yenga ate okutebagenda kudda mu kusoma lwa nsonga anti bafunye mbuto ngaba ye waka mu lockdown yenu je tubadde tuli mu yanka bela relief dali to ntuvuddeyo abamu netandi kokola naye ngate business za bantu abala tezina dam kokola esawa ziri emu ne dakika abiri mukana akadde ngenda kuwa omugenyi wa fe oluksa atu ababuze ko then program egende maso nyabo musanyiso kula ba mu studio ziza fe za the alternative digi talk oh thank you uh, I'll speak English. It is okay, it's Luganda. fine. But I will actually request if you can mix, if you can give your English 70% and you give us a Lugano 30%. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, I hope I'm allowed to remove this. Yes, okay. we are socially fine distanced. and socially distanced. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, my name is Mary Harriet Lamono. I am the executive director of the Uganda Women Parliamentary Association at Parliament. Uh, good morning, uh, viewers. 
I am happy to be on this show today and um, we'll be talking about uh, issues around women in politics but also looking at a lot of other issues around our girl child in terms of the effect of the lockdown on the school going mm. children especially the girls thank you so much ndoza momoli de bulonje omuntu yandi agade okumanya in detail la munyani like can you please tell us if i am looking for you where can i find you who are you in details okay um I work with the Uganda Women yes. Parliamentary Association yes. based at Parliament. I head the organization. Mm. Our offices are located at Parliament, room E219. And uh, we majorly work with women members of Parliament and also male members of Parliament. Mm. They are our members of WOPA. So most times when you say WOPA, people only think it is a women's organization. No, even at Secretariat, we have male staffs uh, at the Secretariat. But also, the membership of WOPA constitute also male MPs. Male MPs who champion gender issues, who believe that uh, they have to work with the women to see a uh, change in the society. So we have about uh, 75 male MPs who subscribe. Subscribing means they pay membership, they pay monthly contribution for the running of the organization. So uh, they want to identify with the issues that we support. In this parliament, the 10th parliament, we have, we've been working on a number of legislation, but at WOPA we develop a strategic plan for this 10th parliament, which will end in May next year. So our strategic plan started running in 2016 and it will uh, uh, elapse in 2021. Then we'll have a new strategic plan with the new parliament that would be 11th parliament. So as WOPA, our main issue in the strategic plan is advancing gender parity developing a gender agenda for the women in this country and uh, we have four strategic directions that we've been working on within this 10th parliament economic empowerment is one of the issues that we have been advancing looking at the uganda women economic empowerment uh, entrepreneurship program we're looking at the uganda youth livelihood program sage the uh, Operation Wealth Creation are some of the government programs that we want to see benefit the rural woman. These are some of the programs that we've been monitoring as a WOPA. And uh, for UWEP, we've seen it really impact on the lives of the rural women because we visited a number of women groups in uh, Busoga in Western Uganda. We visited a number of districts and we really saw how this program is benefiting the rural woman. But our cry to the government has been allocate more funds because people apply for the funding and uh, they sometimes do not get the money. Or when they get the money, someone applies for 20 million in a group of 10 or 15 and they are given 5 million or 4 million. That really cannot substantially support and make them, their lives change. So in uh, this 10th parliament, when the uh, government brought a budget and we saw the Youth Livelihood Program budget cut and UWEP budget cut, we had to advocate for the money to be returned. Yes, the monies were returned, not all of it, but we saw one billion put back on, on the women's fund and seven billion put back on the youth livelihood program. We know the youth constitute the majority in this country 
and if we are to develop we have we we have to support the youth and as wopa we also advance this agenda in terms of economic empowerment we have legislations that we are supporting to amend the employment amendment bill this bill looks at specific issues we are we want to protect the domestic worker this is a place where many women young girls the youth are employed so as wopa we think if the domestic workers are protected then the women are protected we are also talking of protection of casual laborers we've seen people work in factories they're fired at any time there's no protection for these casual laborers sure. and most of these casual laborers are young people they're youth men and women and we think they should there should be a deliberate effort to protect them so that if they are abused there is a law where they can run to for protection so as wopa within the employment act we are also advancing that we are also advancing protection of breastfeeding mothers okay we know the employment act provide for maternity leave days for for women 60 working days as wopa we think because the minister of health is saying the first 100 days in the life of a child is very important it impacts on the development on the growth of the, the child. child so if we are saying 100 days in the life of a child is important then we must do something and we are saying we want employers to provide breastfeeding corners for breastfeeding mothers for that period of time or give them uh working hours which is favorable for them to breastfeed because breastfeeding is really important in the life of the child if you want to have healthy children they must breastfeed for at least 2 years and if an employer can provide at least the first 6 months that a mother is able to to support the child in terms of breastfeeding even the mother is able to deliver better because as mothers when our children are safe then we are even able to work better and we are able to deliver than having someone in office when they are not concentrating on the work the other issue that we are advancing in the employment amendment bill is issue of uh, pro, uh, having a sexual harassment policy because the current law talks about employers who employ up to 20 i believe there are many organizations that employ less than 20 people you employing five should they not be protected yeah, sexual harassment can happen even when you employ two people one. even one sure. so people must be protected and we can only have protection when there is a law in place so as wopa we think if this uh, bill is amended we shall see the level of harassment reduce in uh, the employment sector also the last issue the other issue that we are also are seeking to amend is to have employers who employ their relatives okay yes. pay remuneration because if you employ up to five relatives the law you you choose what you want to do with those employees yes. you they are working for you in your farm okay how do you expect them okay you're providing for them food but and earning for that person will change the life of that person okay we've had uh, homes where we we have our relatives do a lot of work and we don't even think it is right to 
pay them or give them any remuneration. We think this is exploitation and many of our relatives are exploited. We exploit them in disguise of that, uh, that they are supporting the family. I know you are supporting your family. You are supporting the clan. We shall uh, see when the business expands. No, we are saying if you are hiring me as your cousin, you are hiring a nephew, you are hiring an uncle to work, they deserve a pay. So the law should also be amended to incorporate that. Because currently, if, if I employ my relatives up to five, I'm not bound to pay them. And it's, uh, that is one way of exploiting people. We are also talking about uh, protection of migrant workers. Migrant workers in Uganda and migrant workers abroad. We know companies bring migrant workers to Uganda and exploit them. They employ my relatives up to five. I'm not bound. So when you employ, when you bring migrant workers in Uganda, you should be able to protect them. So in, the, in this law, we are now saying we must provide opportunities so that migrant workers in Uganda are protected and also migrant workers out of Uganda. Ugandan migrant workers abroad should be protected because we have seen cases of exploitation, of abuses of migrant workers abroad, Ugandan migrant workers. It's because what we have currently is, is a, a policy. There's no substantive law in terms of protection of migrant workers abroad. What the Ministry of Gender has is it's 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 actually a regulation which is not binding which you cannot use when you want to seek justice so we are saying we must have the law amended so that is in terms of economic empowerment so that then when we have protection we are able to work and have this we have decent work but also develop then the other aspect that we are pushing for as a WOPA is leadership, okay? Women in decision making. We are saying for us to reach parity, there must be a deliberate effort. Parity is 50-50. Currently, the law uh, talks of a third, okay? Even at parliament, we, we, we boast or we celebrate that we've reached 36% of women at parliament. But 36% women at parliament is not enough because when it comes to voting, then we don't have the number. We want to encourage women. We want to mentor women to occupy leadership positions because if you're not in those positions, you are not able to negotiate. When we are at the table, we are able to negotiate as women. So as a WOPA, we have been mentoring women to occupy spaces. We've worked with UONET, we've worked with ACFORD, we've worked with the Westminster Foundation for Democracy, we've worked with NUWI, UN Women have supported us in this journey. So for us as a WOPA, the discussion of review of affirmative action has been on the table for a long time. They have said but these women, they have occupied those affirmative action position for so many years. 25 years of affirmative action. Do we think it should be reviewed? Do we think we still need affirmative action? I have always said yes. We still need affirmative action. Because currently we have 20 women elected on direct seat. If you remove affirmative action, where shall we be as women? Because we know the 
societal norms, we know the social norms in the society, that even in Kampala, here, it is an urban area that we think that there should be level of acceptance of women vying for certain positions. We saw when, the, when Nabira Nagai went to pick a nomination for a position of mayor, Lord Mayor, the level at which, you know, they treated her. We, we as women's movement would think, okay, so they think a woman cannot occupy that position. We would also say, yes, we are in a political, we are in a multi-party dispensation, but then we must put efforts to see that women, and we must support women who come out to vie for certain positions. So as WOPA, we think, seeing a woman pick interest to occupy that position is a big milestone, and we celebrate. Having her win is another a, a, a point of discussion. But her picking that interest shows that we are breaking those social norms that we think, okay, those positions are reserved for the men. Okay? Yes. Even having those 20 women on direct seat is a plus because we are seeing society now accept that, okay, the women can also occupy those seats and then deliver. Currently, we have four district chairpersons, female, who are women. One in Kanungo, another in Kumi, then there's one of Kole, then there's the acting of Tororo. These women have done great work. We saw even when Salam Musumba was the chair of uh, Kamuli, she would call herself chairman. Actually, because was ranked one of the best districts in yes the because of societal thinking that the position is of a chairman so why should women come to occupy these spaces we must encourage women we break the ceiling and say okay women should also now pick interest to contest as district chair we have seen now many in different political parties file women to contest in those uh, positions and we celebrate that. As WOPA we have not yet analyzed, the, we have not got the final list of electoral commission to see how many women nominated on direct seats because that would also make us celebrate. Even just nominating the is, here. is a plus for those seats. That means women have now been empowered because for a woman to come out and say okay I'm contesting for a position of the presidency. It's empowerment in itself. These discussions used not to be there 10, 20, 20 years ago. But uh, with the introduction of affirmative action, with uh, amendments in, in the laws in this country, with the empowerment programs taken up by Ministry of Gender, taken up by uh, civil society organizations. We have now seen women come. We have seen women in cabinet. Women in those ministry deliver. And they even deliver better. So as a WOPA, we celebrate these women and we still encourage women. Once you have reached that age of 18, ask yourself, what can I do to change the world? What can I do to pull another woman up? To pull another girl up? It should be our effort as women. Even in the, in the media, we've seen now women rising because the media had been dominated by, by men. But we've now seen women doing even better in this sector, in the media, and as a WOPA, we do not only focus on women in politics, 
we focus on women in all sectors because if we are to realize development we must bring women at the forefront if you want a developing nation put a woman at the forefront bana uganda batulaba tubakubiriza are you a breastfeeding mother ngabakuwa just only 60 days or 30 days or day okumulimu munange jangu wano waliwe cho kuyiga waliwo abadvocating lo bado chimanyi that people who are there advocating for you are you a youth or kola munange waliyo employment bill bagala kujja mendinga mujje nzemba kubiriza when you come it is facebook to tunonyeza ku tv set e wakawo just to know you can see in your Facebook account, search engine, take them the alternative Uganda. We're going to come and get you out. For now, every day to be there, we're going to be there. 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 We're going to be there for different issues. Today, the deal is women. The talk is women. Women in leadership. Women in politics. Women in girl child. Kuva wansi da ugena kuwa ngate Tukwa ugena kawana kuveli wansi da laba na bato mpake no Kuwewe mwilida shikuwa watu abafunye evi fo evi nene Oba evi enja ulonga vini na enkizo mo Uganda Nga sinda yugena ku affirmative action na yeri inga kugira wakazi wakufayo Batu mwilida chinechifone batu wakugenda wali yeri Tuwa gala soke tunolide How long has your opa been in existence and what are some of your successes? Ok Thank you so much the Uganda Women Parliamentary Association mm. was founded between 1989 to 1994 during NRC. The women thought they should come together. Then the Bianyimas, the Matembes, the Kadagas, they had to organize themselves to put demands in place. So during the CA, the women had already constituted themselves and said we want A, we want this for women, we want affirmative action in this place. Affirmative action in the education sector. Affirmative action in politics. Because this is where decision is made. This is where opportunities are shared. So if we are to see women benefit, then they should be incorporated. If we are to see the lives of women change, then we should see women in education. That is why the government came out with affirmative action. It was a negotiation from the Beijing plan of platform for action. Okay? Because even the uh, Uganda ratified the Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination against women. Because society is used to prioritize the boy child than the girl child. So the government had to put in a, an effort to see that the girl child is also brought to that level, like the boy child. So now, in the universities, we are now seeing even the, the girls the level of enrollment in the universities. We are seeing the girls almost passing the boys. So we celebrate this to affirmative action. Because if this was not put in place, we would not be speaking here. Okay? So as WOPA, we celebrate this. And we still think the 1.5 points should still remain. Because we are not yet there. In the employment sector, we are public service. We are 26 percent as women but also now if you look at the top permanent secretaries where are we directors commissioners we are not yet there and we cannot stop this discussion until we reach there we cannot stop this discussion as a whopper until we reach there we've seen at parliament we celebrate the women leadership at parliament we've seen the speaker Steering parliament so well, a woman. We've seen the government chief whip, a woman. We've seen uh, the leader of opposition, a woman. So at parliament, okay, we've seen women at those positions. And we've seen them influence laws, gender responsive laws at parliament. So as a whopper, we celebrate that. But also, 
within the parliament. I remember in the ninth parliament, at the beginning of the ninth parliament, when the red list of chairpersons of committees, women, the women MPs were not appearing. Yeah, and the Honorable Cecilia got up and said, no, we cannot pass this mm -hmm. until we have... Yes, balance, yes, until we have the women. She said, even my own, my own party has not complied. Even when the, the discussions were like women did not apply, the speaker had to defer and said, no, let's have the women. And because we have a woman speaker, a speaker who is a woman, otherwise things would just be passing. But also at parliament, we influence, we had to uh, go to the rules committee to say, let the parliamentary rules of procedure be amended. To have 40% leadership position reserved for the women. Because if we have it in the rules of procedure, then there'll be no room for negotiating that, okay, they did not apply. Okay, if they did not apply, ensure that they're there, at least 40%. And that is in the rules of procedure of parliament. And we've seen women chairing committees. We've seen, and when they're there, they're able to see with that gender lens, okay, in the healthcare, we are not seeing issues of maternal health. In the education sector, we are not seeing this for the women, this for the girl child. So having women in those places has really changed the life of very many women. As a worker, we celebrate that, influencing that 40% provision in the rules of committee. We celebrate the passing of the gender laws, the, the Domestic Violence Act, the uh, trafficking, prevention of the trafficking in persons ha act, prohibition of female gender mutilation act, influencing uh, inclusion of the gender and equity certificate in the Public Finance and Management Act of 2015. It was an effort of WOPA, effort of the women to see that that provision is there. So that we stop this issue of ministries when they are presenting their policy statements saying gender is catered for. No, we want to see in the, in, 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 uh, within the Ministry of Works and Transport gender issues incorporated in that. Today when you are moving and seeing roads being uh, constructed, you are going to see HIV AIDS, uh, those messages, you're going to see issues of it's no longer men at work. It's people at work. Yes. They're changing uh, uh, the statements. Okay, they'll also put maybe GBV access to this. You see information, which is one, it's key. Information is an empowering tool for us because if we have access to information, and we, that is when we are able to decide better. As women, we think having provisions within laws supports development in this country. Ms. Uh, Ms. Uh, uh, Lamuno. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, you, 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 may, you, you may forgive me if I mis, uh, mispronounce your name. Um, I just forgive me for that. Uh, when you talk, uh, you're talking about some improvements in equality and the way the national cake is being served. But it's as if there is a deliberate mismatch of, uh, of pro-gender uh, frameworks and implementations in regards to in gender inequality. Because we see uh, how much we have uh, the so-called affirmative action. But we see some, uh, for example, MPs for representing women have overstayed in such positions for decades. Yet one would think that as you see for the youth, you come one term, go, uh, then give another chance for another youth to come so that we get a huge basket of competent and we see 
how better uh, women can offer. So what is your take as you offer when we, when we see overstaying leaders in such positions? Uh, thank you so much. Um, as Uwapa, we think women, like any other person, should have opportunities. For the youth, there is an age limit. Okay? So, there is no negotiation. Okay? Unless you come as a youth when you are 20, after again, you can contest if you are still within the youth bracket, age bracket. But for affirmative action, there is no term limit to that. And for as long as there is no term limit to any leadership position, any woman is free, provided they are representing the women well. And competent representation comes with experience. Okay. Honorable Cecilia was quick at seeing that there was inequality in terms of presenting leadership position, chairs of committee, because of the, level, the experience she has had in parliament. She's able to scan and see, okay, here there's a problem. For you to understand legislation for you to even get up and speak on the floor of parliament my friend it's not easy so, how, 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 so would, for us as WOPA, we continue to mentor women and we think if the discussion of having we other women leave affirmative action position should come it should come entirely that we do not only focus on women on uh, district, uh, district women MPs, but also generally political position. So grassroots. that if you are an LC3 chair or LC3 what or LC5 or mayor, if it is two term, it should cut across board. Why would you want to put a, a limit to women? Why? 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 had the discussions always only focused on limiting women for the, me the i think because uh, i think these positions are, are, are not other are not entrenched for example being an mop uh, for a constituency a woman can contest <laughs> because now, one is that i have just i just told you in my preamble yes. that we have 20 women on direct seats okay you going on a direct position is not guarantee that you will go through, my friend. Mm. The level of, of stress that these women on direct seat face, the level of work, let me tell you, it is not easy. And the resources that you put in those positions to secure that one seat of a direct, it's not easy. Kampala has how many direct seats? Which one is occupied by a woman? We've seen now Betty Namisango contesting for a direct seat. Ziwa, also the other side, contesting for a direct seat. Let me tell you, they will fight them. Okay? Is it fighting we, or, or inferiority complex? No, women? one is that society. Okay? When you come to contest on a direct seat, they say, ah, you already have your seat. You have your women's seat, okay? So why are you coming here? Even when you go to vote, they will ask you, uh -huh, this is position for the men, are you voting? Excuse me? If even those returning officers, those people in those electoral commission do not understand that those positions are direct, that even a woman can contest, and for us as WOPA, we have now seen many women picked interest and nominated for those direct positions. So it does not matter whether I have stayed in the affirmative action seat for 25 years. Okay, it does not matter, provided... Not matter. We are actually thinking that people in these spaces should believe and provide space for the young girls to also have chance to 
to express their abilities. Because if we, okay, we as a whopper, we believe that if you are interested, you will pick a nomination form, okay? The same, there, the same way women should pick a nomination form? Yes. Seats. Yes, that is why we are seeing also women pick interest. Even young women of 25 pick interest to contest for. They are not all gathering to con go on youth seat, no? Because we have one reserved seat for youth. We have f female, national female, we have one. Mm. We have also other youth seat. But we have also seen it not attracting many women, okay? Because of societal entrenched social perception. They think if a woman picks an interest to contest on a direct seat, they have now started, they want to be like a man, okay? They want to start uh, reasoning like men. So, so it is difficult, okay? It is not a guarantee that even when I come as a young person to contest on an affirmative action seat, I will win. No, it's not a guarantee. The same, the same as it isn't a guarantee that yes. if a, a woman yes. go for that seat, seat. Once, sorry, and, sure you, and you contradict yourself, when, so. when you express a fear that when a woman contest for that, that seat is quoted or uh, uh, branded and treated as an enemy leaving their affirmative action to, to, to the next seat but at the same time you're telling us that a girl can compete with her mother who has who has actually made the for 25 years in the same position it's and is there is a one record are you are you mentoring are you the, the space you are not creating space it's for them space because you gave them few seats for youth so you think they are comfortable, they should go for, the, for such seats and for you, you sit in a, a, comfort, a, comfort, a comfort zone for because you, of the word experience. Experience, experience. How will us okay. get the experience if we are not a given space? Is the experience told? No. Let me answer you. No, uh, okay, <laughs> one. One is that this discussion has been there. Mm. That there are women who have occupied affirmative action seats for ages, so long, yes. okay? Mm. We saw, I can give an example of Honorable Cecilia. Mm. She came, she had, she was on direct seat in Lira for quite some time. And when uh, Akena came, Honorable Jimmy Akena, she was, uh, she failed to, to get the, uh, the votes. Mm. So when they created a district, she had to go for a district woman's seat because of societal perception. We must, and even you as the media, change the mindset of people that when women come to occupy those male-dominated seats, it, it doesn't mean that they are now neglecting their uh, affirmative action seats, okay? So we saw this Honorable Cecilia remain for some time, okay? And then later, opportunities, they created a constituent, a district, and she went and went through as a district woman MP. We have seen women MP, whom MPs who contest on direct seat come one term and do not come back. It's not because they do not deliver. It is because of the mindset of society. We must invest in civic education of the people. We must invest in mindset change. It is not easy for women to stay on direct seat for long. It is not, it is very difficult. We've seen even in the last in the last parliament, alone in the last parliament we had nineteen women on direct seat. Nineteen on direct seat. Very many of them did not come back. Why? Did they fail to deliver? No. It's not that they did not fail to, the, to deliver. 
communities wake up and say, no, 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 I think we made a mistake. We want um, a man also here. I, okay, we cannot have only women go to parliament. These are constituencies, maybe when they, where they have a district woman MP and a constituency MP. So they say, ah, no, I think we made a mistake. We need a man. Even if they are not going to do for us anything, we need them there. And yet, women do a lot of work. Women are very approachable. The women MPs are very approachable. They do a lot of work in their communities. They are able to monitor health care, health centers, to see their, uh, their maternity beds, are their mama kids. Then come and lobby. Because this work is also about lobbying. Yeah, we've seen even uh, MPs, uh, female MPs who have done nothing total, not in the parliament, not, 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 not monitoring, not lobbying, not legislating, but they are just dormant like other men that we've seen in parliament. Uh, right, see. right over there, oh. uh, we are soon going, it's something okay. from now, we are going for a break. Okay. When we come back, we, we need around there, what, what should be the other states of active legislator or leader at different levels of leadership? Then we shall talk about how you've tried to empower uh, ladies who were affected by the LRA war because there were in 2014, 2015, you had different uh, activities and programs for such people, uh, the, the victims. So we'd, we'd love to know how far before we go to another topic of uh, sexual gender based violence and child, early childhood. A pregnancies during the COVID-19. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues, real talk. You have got to get up pretty early to go do something. We are the Alternative Dig Talk. With our mobile studios, we are redefining TV presentation just as technology is setting the pace. We are blending our approach with fresh, perspectively designed breakfast show the Mighty Drive, informative and entertainment show, exclusive and live interviews. We president Museveni was the Jews in Namulaba Pimaka Unga Kilo Bili. That's what a career. Nini Wavalia Kilo Tan. We are Nemo Kulisa. Iguanga never moon the killer. Jagara Kueva is the alternative digi talk. It was the Kanoka Mighty Drive. Era Nava to Uliza, Bona, Abali Kumikutu, Jagara Basaba Mugenoma, so no Uliza. All given to you, just a click away on your phone, tablet, laptop, and smart TVs. As we are streaming live on our social media platforms, on the road and on the go. We are the Alternative Dig Talk. The world is at a critical moment of providing innovative alternatives as a means to create change. We have created a not-for-profit alternative mobile digital platform as a way to promote space for freedom of speech and expression to the unheard voices. We know you believe in the cause and you can further urge more by contributing to its sustainability in forms of internet data, fuel and any other support you deem relevant. Please support us with your contribution to Equity Bank account number 103 under the name Alternative Digital. 
or our mobile money numbers 0702-900076 or 0783-047785. Alternative Digitalk, Real Issues, Real Talk. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real Issues, Real Talk. Abalonji, Yona, Jamueko, Mide, Jamusins, and the Flava, to be Vaza, Guta Coma, and to be Vaza Dalla, Okuban, and offices are a cut day, Okuban, Moka, Gunovu, the Mova, the Mighty Drive, Ku the alternative dig talk, Kosa, no quarter send them, Nemula data, Chinti Chukuru, no, 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 Nini Dalla, Nadala, Mombere, no, a Yavian Funa, a Yufus, Nay, no more gamanti. Ah, the native dig talk, a damn mighty drive, look my chap was our mo pack a sour satu, the quenja or care. The better chag and a match. Chagina Omuchara, um, Mary Harriet, Lamunu, Mono Yenankuru, Wechivina, Echigata, Avachara, no parliament, Nanga Chimtichin Vachara Boka, Nanko Badenga, Omtobacha and Chabachara, na ye. Mulimuba members, Avasaja, Avashendo Sinze, Iranga Blumez, Vateka Yaka Sente, Okulava and Chitambra, to be as a MP, Avam, Gabuwa Sala Walk, Vanti, Bulimama Waveda, Nayo Waveda, and to Kurizanavo, Avaka, Avam, Tibuendo Singe, Avachara, Avatali Muchara, to Wadi Guanga, Ato Omuchara, the empowered, the Guanga Kulakulana. So, Bumna Suli Abachara, at Nemo Zambo, Simani Abachara by Jabaitaku, O Gomelin Beguadiva, O Machara Bomoa Mani, Manio Wadu Omana, Navazuku. Play of Sajabani Musu with Abachara Havana, Nanga Mubonzika, Bagans by Jamchara, Rush the Bagra Jaman, Rush Bagra Jamchara, just the Gazant, Mama, Yempaji, Mumaka, Yempaji said Dugi, Nti Awatari Machara, Tinicula, Chaganamas, No Machara, Elava Dagazako, or Kunira. Era mu audience ya fe yoro Uganda oro ale tu basaba musasi mukatano nyio oro ale ro omugeni wa fe yari ya gadde nyio ovita komu Uganda na yeba mbiyembera temu kiri sasa wakwa nte ya gala na yeye mbiyera arini tu chete gira sitete kanto ino kwa ngo manini mizona nenda nini chikuru kuhuli zaganya tinga na wena wena agena maachori ngasi manyo chori nenga manyo rizungu tu chete gira sisi ya kute gira baayo na ngo msoga wena chaza omu omuruuri. Oba or Madame, and Tamanu Soga, Nanga Zewa Fino Quagra, sit taker, and tea to no one of my name is on now, Nature Kuru, who is the Ganya, Nanga Songa to the Coop, Songa Zava Chara, Songa Zamana Muara, a beside the singer, you took Yako Massa, Runa Hogaku, sexual violence. To do the twin addis was a two man cutting a Chilean dong, a Rio Echiba Tak, and I have a Kazi, Bakwa Tibua, Rio rape, rape cases, and any police, teacher just studying them some you Nga police eri compromised na aba gaga tutunulira anti abana abawala bakose bwanyo amazima bakwati bwa bedembe ya bwe eri obuntu liti obodwa na government yesi yesi yef de nampolia zibi yef de muzigo mutimpa che na yenga abana abawala bakosewa embuto ze yongedde lo kudawunyene abana bafunye embuto za sana abamu te ne subiri abwe ya future diko mie kuba mu byale wa fe omwana ofuna olubuto balabanga akomye balabanga tachi na mugaso na yo muchala I can't use them. I want that to rule it. Not all that to money. Success. Mujibaria Kuchi, what will I be saying about pinning a new or your Macaru deo, Natana Chakos, especially about Chala. On such a Wakola, well, which you win from Muzai and my Messiah about a Nachakos, but Muzai Sanichal. Name Kazwakola and Soviemu, Bakun Girize, you, my Okemi Akita. So today, O Machala, ED, at Woody, as you open. Uh, how do you measure the success of women compared to men? I'm sorry to to to, to, um, uh, to, to, to request for a comparison, but in a patriarchal society where everything is all about men, 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 where uh, even where a woman seems to be more powerful than a man, they they seem to 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 to, to, to gauge a, a woman as uh, inferior inferior spaces. 
uh, how do you gauge and how, how successful have the women, especially in the opposition leaders, leader, office of leadership, how, uh, how successful have you been? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, as WOPA, we think and we believe we have made a lot of strides. First of all, having a, a, a woman as the Speaker of Parliament is a very big strike that we've made as WOPA and as women in this country. And we have seen her move a lot of laws, chair a lot of progressive laws. So uh, that alone is, is an achievement. But also looking at the uh, judiciary, a lot of rulings now, the judiciary is now being more gender inclusive in terms of uh, court rulings, in terms of even uh, court proceedings, in terms of ensuring that women's issues some are considered and they have derived the mechanism of ensuring that justice is accessed. We have seen women in this country take care of families. We have seen women in the employment sector. We are saying having that percentage, 26 in the public, public service sector, it's small, but it's, it's, it's progress. Because initially we were at uh, six or less than that. Yeah. Having women in cabinet at uh, 31% is, is progress. Actually, uh, do, uh, it brings me to uh, some comments and positive reactions from the public during the lockdown. That if that Ministry of Health was led by a man, it would have been too dormant compared to other ministers, ministers that have occupied such an office. But because it was a woman, a mother, at least there were some big improvements and achievements in regards to curbing the spread of the, of the pandemic. Um, I, I also concur with that. Having women, you, you see, as WOPA, we lobby for certain ministries for women. We know which sector deserves, is, woman. deserves all it's dear for the women. Health is one of them. Education is another. Okay? Um, ICT. Okay, because we also want women to now start occupying, to start being eh, advancing. Right? Yes, in, in innovation. So, the uh, uh, trade. Because we see women engage in economic activities in small business enterprise. Uh -huh. Agriculture is also another area. So as a WOPA, we strategically lobby the head of state to say we want this space, we want women to be in these places because they understand the plight of us as women and then the girl child and then the family. Because a family which is which has a woman a family that gives peace to a woman will develop because we are caregivers as women so for us as WOPA we celebrate every small achievement we must celebrate as women because it doesn't come easy we have to invest a lot of effort in that to realize it. Even having the UEP program, a reserved fund for women, is an achievement as women. Because now we say, okay, we also have ours here. Mm -hmm. If uh, the youth, okay, 30%, yes, there, but then this one is ours, us as women. So for us as WOPA, we celebrate that we have seen women rise. Even in the public sector, we have seen women in the banks, in the banking sector. We have now seen women occupy those positions. 
So as a WOPA, we celebrate each and every woman rising. Uh, yeah, we've seen uh, several women trying to rise, not, if, not just rising, but when we go to informal sector, most markets are occupied by, by our mothers. Uh, but how has Europa tried to empower <coughs> such mothers, our sisters, our aunties in such markets, in the informal sector, so that at least they are the same level or try to match to that level where you want them to be? Uh, first, um, last year, during 16 days of activism, we had an engagement in Nakawa market. So the leadership alone, we saw it's male dominated. You could not see the women there. So what we are now advancing is to amend the market, act as WOPA. We are, we are working with the workers MP to amend the market law so that women in that sector are protected. Because women dominate the market, they are not in the leadership of the market. Uh, the, we know sometimes we have children, we move with our children, but there are no gazetted places to keep our children. Safety. So as a WOPA we are working to amend the market law so that women in that sector are protected. We appreciate and understand that women dominate that sector. Women dominate the informal sector. That is why when COVID hit, the women were affected most. Us, the women were affected most because majority of us are employed in the informal sector. And we think government should put a stimulus income, something to bring back because we have now moved back I don't know how many miles because we were making, we, have, we had made progress but COVID has really taken us back. The level of poverty is estimated to increase. It's estimated that 3 million Ugandans will go to extreme poverty because of COVID and this of the 3 million majority are women, will be women because when the informal business is closed we suffered a setback we are caregivers we have to take care of our homes we we have to look for a means of how to ensure that our children survive we've also seen that even when schools opened some parents could not take back their children to school because of the effect of covid effect of the lockdown okay so as uh, as WOPA, we shall continue to lobby government to put up policy mechanism, especially understanding that COVID has affected us, but has even affected the women more. Government should put up a mechanism of bringing us back so that then we are able to move from that, because it's actually, 3 million is not a small number of people going in the extreme poverty. 3 million Ugandans. Okay? So for us as the WOPA, we think government should put up a stimulus package for these people employed in the informal sector, but also women in particular. Because as a WOPA, we are the voice of the women. We are the voice of the girls. So if I speak, I speak with, with the truth. buyers towards the women. True. Okay? Yes. It's not that we don't know that the men Exist. were equally affected. They were equally affected, but then there is that disproportionate uh, effect that we must uh, realize. When you make submissions up, uh, around COVID, it takes us to our second topic in the second hour. The teenage pregnancies and sexual abuses, especially 
uh, uh, since this year began, where uh, when COVID strike uh, struck the world, and we've seen several reports, we've seen uh, uh, United Nations uh, population and uh, Food Alliance reports, we've seen several uh, uh, UNICEF reports, we've seen even parliamentary reports, police reports that there has been increase in sexual harassment and and sexual abuses. Uh, by July, uh, over 21,000 cases had been uh, reported, uh, registered by police as sexual abuses. Uh, we've seen uh, over 17 percent of, of girls uh, under uh, under the uh, in the back in the age back of teen, uh, teenagers being pregnant, especially in Usoga, that's Luoka. Uh, just had the most uh, the highest number of uh, teenage pregnancies uh, during lockdown so we, we've seen such reports so it takes us as Uopa, how has lockdown affected you especially uh, we understand you are you are in 16 days of, of activism, uh, of activism. Uh, in in these uh, days of activism uh, why, why, why are we focusing on uh, women majorly and girls? Because even boys have been affected. But as, since we are based today, we've given to women. We would love to know, how have you been affected by uh, COVID-19? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, one is that uh, we are in the 16 days of activism. Starts 25th November to 10th December. We know there are a lot of days that fall uh, international. Uh, we have the, international, uh, the World AIDS Day falling around there, the PWD Day is falling around there, uh, Human Rights Day falling around there. That is why we celebrate. First of all, as women, we, we, we have to speak about this day. One the international the 16 days of activism this year the theme we have to orange the world that's why i'm putting on, on orange we have to orange the world we have to fun orange the world fun respond collect and prevent gender-based violence we're not saying prevent women it's gender-based violence okay we want government to allocate funds to support prevention, to support response, okay? Collect information, collect data. The theme, fun, respond, collect, and prevent gender-based violence. Gender violence. It is the global theme, it is the national theme of this year and as WOPA we want people to preach kindness kindness is one thing because if we preach kindness then we are going to prevent gender based violence if we preach well being of the people then we are going to prevent gender based violence gender based violence affects women and girls more more we are not saying gender-based violence uh, does not is not men do not experience the boy child also experience the man also experience but the level of experience of experiencing or the the magnitude differs and we must appreciate this we are saying men who are violated should report. Girls who are violated should report. Women who are violated should report. We should move away from the stereotype of, oh, how do you go to report that your wife has beaten you? How? Because today it will happen, another time you will lose your life. We want to prevent loss of life. As WOPA and as the Women's uh, Domestic Violence Act Coalition, we are saying kindness matters. Okay. 
in this period kindness matters if we are kind then we are going to prevent uh, uh, gender based violence we are not saying women's based violence gender based gender violence. violence gender you are either female or male by gender so female or male can be violated so we must prevent gender based violence and for us as a warp our focus also with the bias is on women and girls he alluded to the statistics because the police report during jan to april 2020 indicated that 4442 cases of defilement were recorded 4442 police report between January to April why are we putting our children fathers are defiling their daughters uncles are defiling their their, their nieces brothers are defiling their, their cousins so really we must do something we must talk about this we have to encourage people to report so that government can plan so that we have the statistics and then government is able to plan to provide aid the services for survivors to provide uh, shelters for survivors who may need shelters in this uh, uh, in in addressing this challenge teenage pregnancy in a chodi human rights focus did a study and recorded during the lockdown 4062 girls got pregnant in a chodi sub region that is just a chodi sub region it's not the entire north 4062 according to human rights focus report what does it mean that we are denying our young girls to be girls we should allow children to be children and live their life as as children we don't have to rush our children to be adults when they are not 4000 girls how many of them will return back to school few if you are lucky if you are lucky even when ministry of 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 education said young girls who are in candidate classes who are pregnant should be allowed to sit exams we are going to during this 16 days we are going to some districts to find out how many have reported back we are going to do some research in some of the districts to find out how many pregnant girls have reported to school because saying this is one thing but having them stay in school is another so as a wopa we want to encourage mothers parents men you are parents allow our children to be children parents take care of your responsibility as parents talk to your children because it starts from home before we jump to government let us do something at home parents have actually not realized that the more they shy away from talking about these issues is the more let, they expose let us these talk, young girls let us talk to our children about the dangers, the dangers of, of teenage pregnancy the dangers of early child marriage t early marriages okay yes early child marriage because if we marry of these young girls at 14 15 13 are they able to change the lives of the people living around them are they able to be productive 
we have seen people get fistula because these young girls are still their bodies are not yet well developed the other day we were discussing two days ago we had the uh, Muslim uh, human rights conference and we were discussing about marrying of young girls also they are saying even the Quran says the age of puberty is 15 but it doesn't mean that the girls should get married at 15 no other people even puberty starts at 10 does it mean that that person should get married no the body is developing allow the children be children the the constitution is the supreme law of the land 18 18 is the age okay minimum so if the child is 17 why do you marry a child 17 is not 18 mm. they are written differently they are different so let our children be children until they reach that upper age of 18 where they they are able to decide because you cannot say consent of a child is not consent in any defilement you cannot say ah, i she because agreed. she agreed no it's defilement. it is defilement the sin is a sin whether she agreed or not the law is clear 18 is the age not 17 and a half please we must preach this to our people and we shall continue languishing in poverty if we do not address this issue of teenage pregnancy early child marriage in our communities even in the urban communities we are not doing well even in Kampala we are not doing well parents have left the work of talking to their children to other people parents must do it in schools we have to talk to our girls and boys even in the churches the religious institution in the mosque we have to talk to these people because you are able to do this because you are an adult you had the opportunity to live your childhood would as a child i had an opportunity to live my childhood as a child and i am at this level because i was groomed as a child and i lived as a child and started doing whatever i could do after 18. Yes, so sir. for us as WOPA, during yes. these 16 days, we want to encourage parents to live in peace. Sometimes our children run away from homes because there's domestic violence. Yes, the domestic true. violence okay, also the number of sweet kids is as a result. causes our children to run away from homes, causes our children to seek support from other people who take advantage of them True. so if our families are at peace then also we are going to see level of teenage pregnancy going down poverty level going down and as parents and caregivers and leaders we must speak about this we should not shy away from speaking about this our children run on the streets our children run to these uh, other men to seek for support because home is not also safe actually, for them actually uh, most girls are becoming victims of uh, uh, such viol uh, violations simply because parents have not uh, have not taken time to discuss such with their their children so when a child lands in the hands of a bad person instead of advising such person uh, uses and takes advantage of, of, of her vulnerability to misuse her. So parents uh, take time. Secondly, uh, we've had cases of rape and defilement in Chile and Donga, especially during lockdown, where uh, some investors have compromised the police. And such cases are not being reported. 
even lawyers and advoc uh, advocates that have tried to voice out have been branded as rebels, have been branded as enemies of the state. So we are calling upon the government. Rape. Because you can't rape a 60-year, 80-year mother. You can't rape a, a, a girl of, 18, uh, of 17, 14. 13, 14. Yes. You can't defile. You defile and rape. It's, we are calling upon the government and your agencies to, up to come out and clear the air. Otherwise, the public, especially in Chiyandongo, people are suffering, people are dying, people are being raped. Cases are increasing each day, but they have nowhere to report. Police has been compromised with the police of Chiyandongo under the commandership of Joseph Bakareke, the DPC, please check out and try to register such cases. And please, Justice shouldn't be just talked about, but it should, it should, it should must be given and served. So as you open, it brings me, what are your uh, uh, plans for such people and victims? First of all, the Ministry of Gender uh, set up the National Child Helpline, Sawuti 116. It's a toll-free line that if there are cases of child abuse, defilement those cases you can call uh 116 116 is a toll-free line please we encourage even the media to publicize to publicize this so that people are able to call and report these cases in august alone the minister of ict says they recorded 21,000 cases of child abuse in August when she was addressing a press conference. 21,000 cases of child abuse. Where are we heading to? For us as WOPA, we are supporting, first of all, the, the legal aid bill, which is before parliament. Why? Sometimes we fail to access justice because we cannot pay for services of a legal person. But if we have legal, legal aid, if there is a government legal aid services for these poor people, we have pro bono services, then people are able to access justice. I go to the issue of sexual violence. Sexual, you said sexual harassment? Yeah. Rape, defilement. Rape is rape. Whether rape of a, four, a rape of a sixteen or sorry of a sixty, mm. or a rape of an eighteen, so. rape is rape. It is criminalized under the penal code. Okay. It is rape. It is criminal, and the police knows that. Police has a standard unit. If the DPC. Of Nakasongola is failing. Oh, sorry, of Kiriandongo is failing. Sorry, of Kiriandongo. Then we they they have to report to the police standard unit. They will deal with them because we are not going to take issues of rape lightly. Rape is rape. Whether it is rape by I don't know what rape. Is rape. We cannot, we cannot even discuss about it. It is disgusting. If this is true, we shall, we shall, in, we shall as WOPA move and find out this from here. I'm going to call the MP. We can even give you contacts of some of the victims because at least we went there. Interest. We interviewed. We picked interest. We went there. We interviewed the victims, but we couldn't get police because. Uh, they were not ready to, to talk to us, but also there are some cases already in court that where the DPC is implicated over the same. Or okay. Fight, fight register such cases. So if already there is a, a case in court, mm. it is progress. Okay? Yes. It is a very big progress. If there is already something happening in court, mm. what we have to do is to fast track the court process. Yes. Justice delayed is justice denied. Right. And we continue to say this. 
our people should not keep quiet. The police should do their work as police. When I come as a as a, as a, a survivor of sexual violence, please rape, register my case because the state pays you for that work. You are not doing charity. It is work that you are supposed to do and ensure that our people are protected. Because if police that we should run to cannot protect our people. Because they are within. That's why we have police at the sub-county. We, the, the, we have those sub-county. We have police at every level. So that people are able to report cases. And if you report case today, tomorrow you go, another time you go, you are not being handled. We are discouraging people. And yet we want to encourage people to report cases of uh, rape, cases of defilement, domestic violence, so that our society is peaceful, so that we continue to preach kindness, so that we live at peace. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, Farm Yakis and Mkisha Advocates were publishing a story of Manu Mto. She was raped. She was actually defiled while she was 14 years. Defilement in the resulting and into pregnancy and she was chased away from home by her mother uh, and aunt because she had gotten pregnant and she didn't know the father. So, Banai Abakoziba Agiris Agiris Atajimani, Company Yaba ya America, Edimoku displacing Avan Twitchi and Dongo Tuba Saba Mweddeko. Tuba Saba Mweddeko, I do not know why, why American Embassy has a picked interest in this year. Is there are people that are displacing Ugandans from their land? American Embassy, why haven't you picked interest? Mukesi Yetiri and Dongo, Banai Tuakubira Omulanga Abantu. Abakoziba Agiris, Ranch 20 and 21, Mweba Sinzo Okulopa. Mweba Sinzo reporting, Amokoze Ebisang, Omo Raping Avant, Mweba Defading Avan Avato, Toba Sabah Sabiba Nange, Mwedego, Nangate, Obu Debut, Tuala Kaidi Gombesa, and Ogenda Somako, Ebibuzo Viavantu, Ebiba Bibuzi, Bow and Bassomichi Buzo Chomquano, so can I quit to under Kuban Bama Insigan that be Malayo Biona, Nera when Bassi Somia, Namba Bugambi, I am. Sorry, over the at a baboon could tea. Um, Chala Claire Chan, you are watching from Gulum Kwano. Thank you for watching. Lillian Luede has a question. Talk about women who have been in parliament for a long period of time without giving the young generation space. What should be the term limits for a woman MP? Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> what should be the term limit mm. for a MP? Mm. That is the question. Oh, okay. You want me to respond to that? Yes. One is that the constitution, the, the, the constitution currently does not have term limit. True. For an MP. Mm. If people think there should be term limit, they should bring, they should bring proposals. Do you believe there should be term limits for MOPs? As you open. As you open? For me, I believe there should be term limits for everything. Mm -hmm. Why, oh, how me, long should as someone me, stay in parliament? For me, as me, I believe yes. there should be term limit. For everything. For everything. So specifically for okay. members of parliament, how long should they stay in parliament? In your view. In your view. As a personal level. As a Ugandan, I think if you have served in parliament for 20 years, you should have done justice. The, to, those are four terms. four terms. Yes, those are four terms. Mm. You should have, if you cannot change the lives of your people in those years, then you cannot. <laughs> Even when we are saying we want to secure the future of Ugandans, if you cannot do something, if you are in your workplace and you have worked for 20 years and you have not changed the lives of people, then, then you never be changed. Then you, you will not change it. There's no magic that you're going to do. But also that the law, the law is the law. The constitution is the supreme law. And currently, even the, the age limit was removed so that the young people are able to contest. Because, you know, there was an upper age limit and a lower age limit for presidency. So it was uh, uh, removed so that the young people, we see Katumba.
mm, uh, also, 24 also, years. also in the race. Yes. Okay. It is an encouragement for young people. It means you should not. It, politics is not. Um, sometimes people in think your view, the removal of term limits was okay. Removal of term limits and to, age to, limit to, no, as, as well. Uh, to, uh, for the constitution, that is what, what current is in the constitution. Mm. As a WAPA, we don't have any position. We don't have any position on that. Mm. Because you know, as a WAPA, we have members that belong to Both all the mm. political divide yeah. at parliament are members of WAPA. Mm. So we, as a WAPA, it was not actually one of our strategic area that we were even set oh. to work on. Mm. That is why even when there were discussions mm. as WOPA we did not pick interest because our membership mm. cuts across, across all, uh, all political, political divide. Properties. So we did okay. not have a position in terms of whether age limits should be removed or retained. Oh, okay, another question is from Tomohembi said no man. I appreciate the work that such organizations are doing to empower women. However, what have you done to empower the boy child to be ready to work and live with the empowered women? Uh, one, for WOPA we have the male champions. At Parliament, mm -hmm. we have male MPs who champion the cause of women, but as men, they, they, they are role models so that the boy child can see Mm. that this this if this male mp is able to speak about this issue then i should also aspire to do the same mm. we have programs okay supported by plan international we have programs supported by the westminster foundation for democracy we have programs supported by the democratic governance facility the dga yes. we have programs supported by the un women that incorporate boy the boy the child, boy child and the girl child because we cannot continue to speak about the girl child without also talking about the boy, the boy child. child okay yes but carefully bring them because we know that the girl child has not we are not yet even even when we are talking we're talking about 30 percent we are not yet there so we want also the boy child to be empowered there are programs that we, we incorporate mm. these young adolescent boys okay in some of the programs so that they understand that issues the teenage pregnancy because even when we are crying sometimes teenagers are getting pregnant among themselves mm. and if we do not provide information to these teenagers then we are disadvantaging the country another question is what is criteria you apply to nominate mentorship candidates given the districts that Uganda has? <laughs> As a WOPA, because we depend on donor funding one, mm. our development partners have districts they work in. Oh. So that influences our, our directions. Mm. But also too, we've been working with the network of women in politics, NOWIP, mm. to mentor aspiring candidates. And this has been generally. And then WOPA works with other networks. Forward has been mentoring in some region. Mm. Uh, ONET has been mentoring in another region. Sewigo, Ackford. We've seen different women organizations mm. carrying out political mentorship program. Yes. And please, when you see in the social media, apply. Forward a sent out call for trainings and I saw very many women being trained central region northern region eastern western in that order mm. so when you see please apply for forward it was majorly women mm. but for Sewigo and WIP they have also incorporated the young men and sometimes we are biased to first time aspirants mm. because we believe that you was been in parliament before or as a counselor before, has, has really got some, some experience. Support, yeah, so we have to mentor these ones who have not yet been, been in those in places, those places yes. to also have them build their confidence so that when they go to look for votes, they're able to speak confidently, they're able to say out their manifesto confidently 
so that the public is able to, the voters are able to judge and say, okay, this one has this ABCD manifesto. How do you speak? How do you convince the voters? Uh, how do you identify uh, where the loopholes of your opponents? Mm. So for us, these are things that we do, especially we, we mentor young people. Mm. We don't want people who have already been there. They have already got experience. Let us bring in other people we've not had experience so that then they're also able to compete because we are trying to have some level ground yes. so that when we go to speak at the same function mm. i am also i can also be listened to because they would have built my capacity they would have made me confident and assertive so that if i'm not given opportunity i, I am able to ask them. i'm also here and I'm a, an aspiring candidate, can I say a word to my voters? Because to deny any politician a microphone, you would have done a great disjustice yeah, <laughs> to them. And this is what we talk about as a whopper. Akwesega David, uwebale kubeira kongo tulaba, kwesi somye chivuzo cho mkwano, I am really very sorry na hati, obudebo mkute. Awol Eric Eroni mkwano uwebale kubeira konga olaba program. David Sekunya, you are always watching us from Dubai. Mkwano tungambavu gambin, thank you for watching our show. Mbono obude, in the next two minutes, you are going to give your closing remarks. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. As Uwopa, I did not speak about other laws that we are working on. Mm. We are working on the Succession Amendment Bill 2018. Government also brought their Succession Amendment Bill. The Government Bill is 2019. The WOPA Bill is 2018. And in the law, because uh, in 2007, Law Uganda took government to court and certain provision within the Succession Act of 1905 was declared uh, unconstitutional, discriminatory in nature, and does not stand the test of time. That means Parliament is supposed to make laws, is supposed to amend the law. And as WOPA, we are working on that. Because in the law, there were no provision of hair rest. We know now people can uh, will their uh, storage, uh, the, uh, sorry, their estates to even a, a girl child. The issue of uh, matrimonial, the issue of sharing of, of uh, properties of, of the deceased, especially uh percentage sharing was also unfair to 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 the women because it talks about 15 percent and yet uh you would have worked for this property with your really with unfair. your and it talks about it talks about wife 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 how about if i have property as a as a wife mm -hmm. does it mean it's quiet on on the part of a woman's property because even now women have properties it does not talk about how i sh uh, how i share my property okay i in case of interested in case i die without leaving a will this are, this is what we are talking about you die without leaving a will as the as a woman the no the law does not say the man takes even the law is silent Someone can come, my, my brother can come and say, this is my, my sister's property. So it will really be a disadvantage to my husband. Something would have worked on with my husband, then someone else comes to take. 15% to, to, uh, to a, surviving, a surviving wife or wives, 15%. Where is there? Uh, 85%, 9% to dependent relatives depend on the people you keep at your home they depend entirely or they've been depending on you one percent to to an hair we are saying no a, a hair or hair should be a ceremonial role mm. okay should be a ceremonial role they should not take Anything. part of a, a estate of a, of a deceased intestate and then uh, a, the other percentage goes to Linear descendants. Linear descendants are the children of the deceased, whether adopted or biologically uh, uh, ch children. So, and, and they talk about, uh, there was no, you know, they talk about issue of, of, uh, of that's how they call, uh, uh, they call legitimate children. Excuse me, children are children. Children are children, whether born in 
wedlock or out of wedlock children are children the, 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 the law I was talking about that but we are saying no children are children okay so all lineal descendants should be part should take part of the the estates but then agree on percentage of sharing we are proposing 50 50 percent but uh, we did consultation was they are saying no let's do 30 percent to surviving spouse surviving spouse is either a man or a woman 30 percent 70 percent to lineal descendant we remove this issue of uh, dependent relatives and and hair or we give we maintain the nine percent of dependent relatives because some of us have parents we take care of they derive livelihood out of us us and we are an african society adopted the kids no mother no mother doesn't know father adopted you must adopt formally according to the law of this country but if you just brought a child your in your home of your sister is a dependent relative those are dependent relatives so the nine percent should be because we must live as Ugandans and we are Africans. We keep people in our family. That discussion is also going on. We have the Sexual Offences Bill 2019, which is one of our greatest bills that we are pushing for. We want this law passed because you talked about uh, the, 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 uh, Kiriandongo, uh, the, the Kiriandongo case. Okay? we see harassment happening, sexual harassment happening. So once this law is passed, we shall have really a different Uganda. So we must, we must push for the passing of these laws. We're also working on the marriage and divorce bill. It's a point of discussion that we cannot run away from it. We have also, I've also talked already about the, the legal aid bill that we are pushing for. You have talked about the LRA uh, victims, we are saying first, we, the uh, transitional justice systems should be put in place. Compensation for those people should be in place. Parliament passed a national policy on, uh, on, 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 that, on that issue, and we believe government is going to work to ensure that survivors or victims of the LRA insurgency are supported. So, as WOPA, we also scan or look through other happenings. We don't only focus, we don't zero down mm -hmm. our issue on the strategic plan only. But if there are emerging issues that we think we should address, we voice, up. We voice it up as WOPA. That's why when in the years when there was a lot of killings in Entebbe, Wakiso and the surrounding area, we had to speak about it where sexual harassment in, in higher, in schools of learning, in learning institutions, we had to speak about it. Do you also demonstrate in the case the government doesn't, uh, the government doesn't listen? We, we use different approaches to, 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 to bring out our issues because as a WOPA we are leveraged. We are advantaged that we are at parliament and then that is where decisions are made. So that if there are any issue, if the minister is not acting, we put one of our members to go on the floor of parliament and ask. So for us, as that is the advantage. That is the advantage with the WOPA because we are parliament, we are able to fast track processes. We, there is an issue, you are able to address a press conference. There is an issue, you consult the speaker. We have that advantage that we are closer to those positions. We are closer to Parliament. So as WOPA and our chairperson, we have a chairperson. Currently my chairperson comes from our chairperson comes from Budaka, Pamela Kamugunasio. She has chaired the organization very well. We've done a lot of great things that uh, people appreciate. And we believe before the closure of this tenth parliament, before May we should have worked towards passing a number of laws progressive gender laws which will, which will support families which will support the boy the man the woman the girl child
Gambia, Wobo Yagala, NC Ekula, Kulani, Oba, NC Ekula, Kulani, put a woman at the forefront. Those are more about even to be about a body and anti bio, be a Makula and Yanayato, but they won't put us as I was at the Satu Farida because it is my name. Mokose and old Anthony Gwen, but then I yanga two times a program of a young Nakula Lero or Mammy Jeremiah Machivi, Yava Demo Control Room, Lilian Lue, the Yava Deco Camera, Cato Tomasime. Driver, wall na kwa bera tu tambo zako ngodonga tu kwa tiri double amu wa femona ngi. Bagala Brian, kwa wale kuchwe gata kwa wale rom programu ya fe, muna ngi ya bada wonga ineni kesi om presenti omu afanya mu busi wonga tu gena muswa pinga. Bagala Brian, a very normal sindi, a bera kwa every day ngi alaba program, mkuu anu kwa wale kubera kwa ngo alaba ida tu gamba vugamba tu muna ngi. To whoever's a I we say thank you so very much to whoever. I get up much as I went to do now again that Facebook. Yeah, not take the water to Vigan and Abidangati at Lava on a Sukao or Napuaku Tano by Mikuano Timuana Mufuga. A Choku Vidibanaki may well over you, Abaina families. There is life after elections. Move them over you, Fetuba Gamba Bugambi, Mehumi de Waka, Mufulume on fourteen. To go and cast your vote. Abavuvu kama mugende mulonde, ba mama mugende mulonde, mwenye mwenye abazadi mugende mulonde mwe wale ogovuyo because we were not from Nobulem. Ongata ati tu kiasi bola ku friendinga for your family. Oge na kuvanga ati olese obozi bu oba responsibilities o katyo shifting zewo stesa kumche ala ati oba kutata wo e ya kula bidi lampa ka owoli banange mwe wale mwe wale riots tu vera ati mugonde le government yeri ko jemga gala e basange inga. Muli bala mfarida bikomere siso kawo Tula bagane kumande Nyo mge nyo wafe kanye hamba Former Justice George Wilson Kanye hamba is our guest For Mandy Tuba sababu sabi mbereko Sawa zibazezimu emu mpaka sato See you have a great weekend